Police are pulling guns on teens again. The real reason that they ban in TikTok. Kamala Harris for vice president? The pros and cons. Doctor proof that you can wear a mask and breathe. Say <laughs> that. I have a dream. Listen to the kids, bro. What's up, y'all? You're watching Half Woke. Darren Big Baby Brand. I'm Cynthia Luciette. I'm Precious. I'm the Rose King, Grant Taylor, yo, what up? All right, Brent, what's our first story? Our first story, we got a doctor, and he out there proving that you can wear a mask and breathe at the same time. He proved it, y'all. He ran for 22 miles with a mask on, just huffing and puffing out there, filming himself, doing it and everything. Point's pretty much been proven now. It's uh, even putting 10 people's worth of oxygen through one of these cloth face masks. You're not going to drop your oxygen levels. He ran eight miles to work. Yeah, and when it. work was over, he ran 12 miles after that. You know what I'm saying? He got it in again. And then ran like another two, like just, just on GP. You know what I'm saying? So technically, he got 22 miles in during the day. He had a mask on the whole time. And he had a little a little device to monitor his breathing. His oxygen levels was right there. So he was like, man, my oxygen was good. I'm a little uncomfortable, but I could breathe. Man, you better get your modern day Forrest Gump ass out of here. I was running. I ran eight miles to work, then 12. Get your dumb ass out of here, boo. That is the yeah. definition of petty. You know what? You know what? I'm going to prove all you people who go to the grocery stores complaining. That you can run. <laughs> not only did I run 22 miles, and I went to work. Like, that is the definition of you ain't shit with your life. Like, step your shit up. You know he was running by himself, too. Wasn't nobody running with him. He was out there by himself. Because as much as I love you, Precious, if you was like, hey, Hey, I'm about to run 22 miles to prove this point for my job. I'd be like, I'm sorry, but bitch, catch me. 22? That's just ridiculous, fool. Marathons are ridiculous to me, but I support anybody who want to do it. But for the, for the record, you might get two miles out of me, but I'm walking one. <laughs> so you'll walk a mile with me if I was like, if I made my own slut walk, you gonna walk a mile. I'm a walk. I'm a walk one with you. I'm a hold it. We down. can do four. We can walk four, fool. Chilling, smoking. Chill. Everybody's dedicated to the four mile on these hoes walk. I would yeah. do a four mile on these. I do that. Let's run your canyon up. And let's go, nigga. I'll run on these hoes. It's cool. <laughs> now, Brent, Brent, he gonna show out. I can already see someone. I'll do it. I'll do it with my shirt off. <laughs> it need to, yeah, it need to be a sacrifice. And this doctor did sacrifice, you know, himself. Because, like, even all of these parents in these grocery stores, the first thing they do is threaten to sue the people who make them wear masks. Then you can call corporate office, but I can't help you. Okay, well, you guys didn't get lost lawsuit. It's funny that we won't listen to somebody who has a degree and went to medical school. He has to go out there and make himself be a guinea pig in a rat race and basically do physical labor to prove to y'all because his degree just wasn't enough, so. <laughs> and he still went to work. That's what people forget. If I if I run miles today, see me two days later, I'll be back to it again. He went in there mustard in the house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you were mustard, sir. <laughs> if you ran eight miles, you could get two or three in, and you need to hit that water. You know what I'm saying? He was at work. They was like they they kept they pulled that mask closer because of the smell. Not just, oh my god, John. Come on, do you smell? Can you smell yourself, Tom? <laughs> yeah. See, I definitely don't want a brain surgeon running eight miles before he got to cut me open. Like, uh, I don't want no tired doctor. This nigga breathing hard. And... <laughs> Let me get some water real quick. Nigga. <laughs> hey, you under, you under anesthesia. You know they make you count backwards for the sleep. Ah, fuck that. My nigga, I would, I, would, I would be so mad if my doctor ran eight miles to my appointment. I'd be like, man, give me somebody else, bro. He tired. He ain't thinking right. <laughs> you he ain't thinking worked. right, bro. Has he ate? Has he ate yet? If he ain't ate, I need somebody else. If he ain't, if he ain't had a sandwich or something, switch me out, bro. I'll yeah. do whatever, fool. That nigga, that, he don't even got on Crocs. This nigga got on ASIC because he just came in from Moran and shit. From Moran and shit. Like, I'd be I mad as hell, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, but at the end of the day, though, shout out to the doctor, man, because it's really important for us. You know what I'm saying? Just to show that the, these masks do work and they don't, they, you know what I'm saying? We joking about it, but it don't hurt you. You can run technically 22 miles in a mask. You can do a lot of things that you probably don't think about. You could probably smash something with your mask on. You know what I'm saying? Like, your mask on, it's smash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. How do you <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's my name? And then, What's my and, name? Then, and, then, and then when you feel real frisky, you take the mask off and kiss on the lips and put it back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't even you ain't even know I was a nasty nigga like that. You ain't even know I was nasty like that. 
and I kiss you on your lips in the pandemic. <laughs> Uh, you a freak uh, if you take your mask off. You a freak. Kissing in COVID, huh? Kissing in COVID. Oh my God. The Los Angeles County Sheriff said Monday he has concerns about tactics deputies used to detain three teenagers at gunpoint. Here are the full woke facts. So Tammy Collins wrote on Instagram that her son was sitting with friends at a bus stop when a man asked them if they had any drugs and then tried to steal their belongings. She said the man then pulled out a knife and tried to stab them. Collins wrote that bystanders called police to help the boys, though she wrote that apparently one caller reported that the teens were attacking the man. The 11 minute video Collins posted shows at least three deputies pointing their guns at the teens, including one deputy who had a long gun. They didn't do nothing at all. Back up. I'm the one that called you. It was not them. This is just another case of the police fucking up and getting it just wrong. They didn't even do nothing. You know back happening. up. You, know you need to let them go. Hey, that guy is going to get away with a knife. Yeah, they, they don't care because they black. They don't care because they black. This is some bullshit. And it's just no excuse to have no three guns pulled on them damn teams, especially no big assault rifle. That's what I'm assuming the long gun is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like an assault rifle, a gauge, an AR. We won't see what is this? I don't know, but it's not necessary is the point. Why are our teens being targeted when they are the victims? And my thing is, why do they act like they can't hear all the bystanders around them? Like, they weren't the ones who did it. Why do you have guns on them? Those are just kids. It's ego. You can't stand to be wrong in the public eye. You can't say, oh, okay, my bad. I, I put it up. No, you got to stay on it because now it's an authoritative thing. I'm the cop. I said this is what's going on, and whatever I say goes. Why are you guys doing that? I'm going to need y'all to really accept when you're wrong. Like, what the fuck? Is, what's wrong with us? No, they feel like they your dad. Like, it's my thing. Y'all are talking to grown people like you own them or like you somebody daddy. Like, we are we are all adults here. The way they just throw their voice and their weight around just because you got their baby. Like, you don't talk to a grown person like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, it should still be respecting everything you're doing. And they lose that shit. They really like, I got this bad. It's like they talk to the adults like they're kids and they mm -hmm. talk to the kids like they're adults. Yep. Yeah, now that's real. Imagine they can do a scenario to play for us in training where this situation happens. The police come on the scene, they're told one thing, and you have everyone there screaming completely something different. Are they going to listen? Are they trained to listen to that? If they had training for things like that, like civilian Absolutely. training, how do you deal with civilians? Because you in the cubicle, like when they had Men in Black and Will Smith in there, and they had the fake aliens and stuff, that's totally different than the real life when he got it got real in the field. You know, we see that it's like they probably could have gave him a little bit more training because Will Smith almost died like 55 times in that movie. Great comparison. <laughs> Great. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. What, what we're dealing with today, aliens and Will Smith, I mean, nailed it. I mean, motherfucking nailed it. That is amazing. I like it. Will Smith trained more for his role than the cops trained to secure um, civilians. I read it takes 13 to 19 weeks uh, for them to go through full training. And I mean, gun, uh, gun included. I got taken to jail for stealing my own goddamn car. I'm in the car, I'm going down Figueroa. I'm in a sapphire colored Lexus LS 460. I'm, I'm balling out of control. As I'm rolling down the street, sitting on peanut butter seats, I turn left. I noticed through my periphery, I said, there's a police car behind me. I'm not worried about that guy. Everything I need in my car is all, all this shit for me. Everything for me. I'm going to make the left and the food for less. They make a left too. I say, I said, you know what? Maybe they just going somewhere else. But food for less is closed. I was like, I'm you just... know they ain't going to food for less. That's a nigga stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're going to niggas for less. So, that Lexus, that Lexus is like a heat-seeking missile to them. They was like, do, 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 do. And it's it. blue, it's sapphire. It's I have two water containers. They're on the floor. When I reach down, I see all this light. Come I was like, oh, it's a lot of light. LAPD, get out of the car with your hands up. Still thinking, maybe they're talking to somebody else. So <laughs> I pull, I get out, my feet, step out. They was like, drop us in your hand. And I realized, I was like, oh, shit. These people are after me. They were like, walk backwards towards us. I'm like, what? Turn around, <laughs> nigga. You just told me to walk backwards. So I'm walking back. As I'm walking backwards, the police, I hear foots, you know, footsteps like somebody running. I was like, 
And you can't ready. turn around to see what's coming. I got to turn around. <laughs> you're at full speed. I'm like, he was like, turn around. I'm like, no, you finna hit me. I'm about to turn. <laughs> I'm going to turn sideways. Well, yeah, I can, yeah, I ain't all the way. I see you. I'm turned, but I ain't all the way. This nigga comes with his feet and his knee. Yeah. In my back. The other officer, they tackle me. I'm like, what is going on? You clearly got the wrong nigga. I'm going to get water. I look up. There's helicopters in the sky. Oh, shit. What the fuck is this? It's 12 police cars. I'm down on the ground. I was like, Hey man, what the shut your goddamn mouth, man! To hear another grown man <laughs> tell you to shut your goddamn mouth, and you actually gotta shut your goddamn mouth. So I said, "Hey man, somebody gotta tell me what is going on." Oh, you know what's going on? Stolen vehicle. Ooh. I said, "What?" Oh, it's a stolen vehicle. I said, "Oh, y'all done fucked up now." I said, "Man, first of all, look at my glove compartment. Everything's in there. Look at the glove compartment. They <clears throat> see my shit." It's mine. My name, registration, insurance, everything good. But someone uh, radioed it in that this, this car was stolen. I said, well, you clearly see it's my shit. We're going to take you down because we need to do some further investigation. What? <gasps> Not want to admit they were wrong. Yes. Took me down. Nobody knows I'm even in jail. My wife, my kids, nobody knows what the fuck is going on with me. I'm in jail. Finally, they just let me go at like 8 in the morning. This happened at like 12 midnight. Like eight, they just let me go. Car was impounded. Had to pay to get the shit from impound. Any arresting papers? Did they? What was their reason for arrest? Did you even get? Do you? No, get no paperwork. Nothing. It never happened. Nope, it never happened. Just let them out in the morning. Just hold that nigga. If we have um any attorneys watching, let us know what we can do about this. <laughs> you know, let us know we still got a case. Okay, Darren, you want to set up the TikTok story? Uh, yeah, let's get it, man. Let's get it. Ready? Get off of my TikTok. Everybody's scared right now because TikTok has been banned by 45. He's saying that it's, uh, they're spying on us, the Chinese app doesn't make any sense. But the value of TikTok is 75 billion, not an M, B. <laughs> uh, TikTok is aiming to counter suit because they say the Trump administration has never given them a chance to respond. But as of now, TikTok is already banned from all government phones. TikTok has the most, the most creative people. There has to be at least an hour of scrolling to TikTok in the morning and at night before I go to sleep. There's mamas on TikTok, there's 30 and over TikTok group. You got the Black Lives Matter movement big on TikTok. They literally have stock TikToks. Like yeah. you can learn so much about stocks in 20 seconds because they're shit, it's just like, it's a, it's a whole pool of information. But I was a little surprised to find out how much spying they can do on our phones. I really personally don't like that. Can we spy back? Like put a, get them a, a app, you know what I'm saying? Like get them Black Planet for like two months and then see how it work out. Here's the thing, Britt. Do we even want to spy? Like, do we even care? We don't even nope. care. We don't care. We'll have the ability to spy on them and be like, man, I ain't got time for that. Let me go back to my shit. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas gonna be goddamn top ticket. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's the thing. Everybody is sitting here dancing, but there's so many levels to it. Like Donald Trump was saying he won't ban it if the Microsoft deal, which is like Bill Gates' company, you know, was able to buy TikTok. So it's like, are you just forcing this deal to go through? Because these billionaires get on phone conversations just like us. Non fucking billionaires do. That's what I'm saying. So, Ain't they friends? They friends, right? Ain't they friends? Precious, if I was the president and you was like, yo, I'm trying to buy, you know, this swap meet for $2 million, and I was like, I'm going to ban all swap meets unless you hurry up and let Precious buy that, wouldn't y'all be like, mm, that's kind of, hold up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of fucked up. However, come as, <laughs> as, your, as your nigga, I'd be like, well, shit, shit. <laughs> We I don't up. got TikTok, but I do watch everybody on there, but I don't have it. I never did download it. I mean, it's, it's it, it very look, entertaining. It's very I mean, entertaining. It, it, it look, it look all right, but it's just like, I'm not finna learn the accounts for like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I, not, I, oh, I, oh, I don't do no dancing. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't do, I don't do no dancing. I'm just in there for the little voiceovers. That's it. That's all I need. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do have a the little voiceover too, but yeah. I'm like, man, good. And I seen there that you was doing the reels, which is the TikTok version, you know, on Instagram. It's basically TikTok on Instagram, which Instagram is known for doing, like taking anybody's shit and being like, we can do it too. Fuck it. We yeah. got people on it. And there's nothing you can do about it. Remember Vine? Remember? 
<laughs> Remember, Vine Vi lasted for three months because of Instagram. Instagram was like, six seconds? Wow. Let's make it 15. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Back. they winning because, you, you know, Instagram free. You just own that bitch. You know, they winning like a bitch. I don't know, man. They're not messing with only the, the, the fans only page, are they? They not no, doing no, it. No, no, no. Only fans only is kind of good. Trump ain't taking it. No, no, we oh. good. Okay. Because okay. you know, only only fans replace Backpage, but that's another topic for another day. <laughs> what do you guys think is the real reason they're trying to ban TikTok? They don't want people having fun at home. You know what I'm saying? They know ain't shit to do. You know what I'm saying? They know people sitting there bonding with their kids. That is the good part about it. I like seeing people with their kids on yep. there and my whole and family. Dogs. Yep. And then like an actress that then got old, but she did this when she was young. Like it's some good wholesome moments on there. And I think anything that's a little bit wholesome, they try to snatch that shit. Yeah, I don't, maybe I'm not supposed to, but I don't see the harm in the app. I mean, you, but you go see the background of people's houses? Cause that's all you see. Everybody do it in the kitchen or the bathroom. That's all you get is people apart. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that it has something to do with money. And even Trump was like, oh, well, if the Microsoft deals go through, they should also pay a fee to the U.S. Treasury because we're allowing Americans to be on the app. Because I guess it's China, essentially, but more than anything else. I said a very substantial portion of that price is going to have to come into the Treasury of the United States because we're making it possible for this deal to happen. For him to even say that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, well, we might consider it if y'all pay some fees, or, <laughs> you know, because hey, he just wants you to kick him down. Like, Trump a, a G. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got real gangster street tactics, and he don't hide them at all. You know, he's like, I want my cut, kick in. You know what I'm saying? And if, if he getting his beat, then he gonna cry, you know? But if everybody- He, he, he definitely, he definitely- He can't get in the video, he gonna shoot ignite it. He definitely has that check-in attitude. He definitely has that check-in. Yeah, but you gonna be over here with that? Let me get that, <laughs> check-in. <laughs> like you coming to his hood, nigga. You yeah. What's up? Let me have uh, TikTok. Let me have uh, okay, TikTok. Uh, so the levels to this money shit gets crazy. An even deeper level is maybe somebody just hates Jason Derulo because he's the main <laughs> celebrity who blew up on there. Jason Derulo, the, he, he is. He is the guy. Name the last song he did, but he done dropped ten TikToks today. <laughs> Well, it look like majority mm -hmm. rule, y'all expect the money, but they don't want us happy either, I really feel. Period. <laughs> so this week, Joe Biden announced Kamala Harris as his vice president running mate. I'm just gonna just give you guys the full woke fact. Here is what people are saying are the pros and cons of putting Kamala Harris on the ticket. A pro. She's bringing demographic diversity to the ticket. She's younger, has black and Indian subcontinent ethnic origins, and is female. Con, she sold out the homies. In California, many of the systematic failures of policing have her fingerprints on them. A pro, she is not a newbie. Harris is a U.S. Senator, so she has federal experience as well as very significant state experience. She's proven time and time again that she'll fight for what she wants. A con, the West Coast state that Kamala represents is already a blue state and therefore is pretty much no help when it comes to the electoral college vote, AKA how Donald Trump won last time. A pro, she is huge right now on the reform of the criminal justice system and police reform saying that it's a wicked problem. So we've seen the growth. A lot of people in the beginning of their political career literally say whatever it takes to get voted into these positions of power. We've seen it from Biden. We for sure have seen it from Trump. You know, overall, Charlemagne said something good on his Instagram too. He's like, Donald Trump is going to come out attacking her simply because she is, you know, a black woman, a woman of color and they're not gonna be afraid to be disrespectful and we have to protect her. Here's the deal, ain't nobody gonna stop him. He been disrespecting my fuck since he been in the office. It ain't like now because Kamala's in, let's protect her. He is going to do what he wants to do and he's been doing it. Ain't nothing we can do to stop yep. him. He got Twitter. He can go on that motherfucker and pop off 142 characters talking reckless and nothing is to be done about it. He has no repercussion behind any of his actions because they scared of him. They scared. He's the most powerful man. It ain't even no Republican Party. 
it's not a Republican party because you got Republicans going totally against <coughs> all the rules and the norms that they normally go to. They used to be these budget hawks. They used to make sure, hey, we don't want to blow up the evening. This motherfucker got in office and ran that bitch up a trillion trip. He, he ran it up, like we would say as kids, a trillion, zillion, billion times. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line is, the only thing that could be done is to vote him out. If you really think about it, they could have put anybody in there and they would have been like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's get him out of here. It don't matter. <laughs> Joe Biden could have been like, look, I made a Joe Biden clone and this is going to be my vice president. We'd have been like, fuck it, we got to vote for you. Because we know what we have to do. We have to get this man out of the office. As much as Kamala has done in the beginning of her law career, it is dope to see her speak on, you know, issues for women in a way that I have not seen any male, you know, candidates talk about. Even Elizabeth Warren and Hillary Clinton, I didn't believe them when they said they were going to fight for women. I believe Kamala. I don't, I don't think Biden or anybody else on there is gonna just bully her around. I think she no, really is gonna she be. Play she gonna she's not a puppet, and I think Biden is more of a puppet than she is. And she's gonna go in there and make the policies and the shit that she really wants to change. Change. She wouldn't just be on it for glitz and glamour. But do you think we as a people but, deserve to give her a fair shot, or should we still be mad at what she did to black people? We should be able to do both. We should still be mad at what she did to black people. And we should still give her a shot. Bottom line is this: yeah. we got Joe Biden, and Joe Biden has a running mate in Kamala Harris. It don't matter who he picked. He could have picked motherfucker uh, Joe Biden and Tiger King. I don't give a fuck. I still yep. don't vote for him. Bottom <laughs> yep. line is we yep. got to get somebody that's tough again. You can't fall back <clears throat> and let Trump punch you. You got to punch this motherfucker back. I'll give Biden that. I'll give Kamala that. I mean, she ain't letting you off the hook. You ain't going to be able to deflect. You ain't She's going to hold your foot to the fire, and you're going to answer her goddamn questions. That's why I can't wait to see her debate. My pins for so Calm, cause she's gonna tear into his ass and ruffle his feathers. I like somebody that fights and punches. We know we normally don't see our political. Um, we don't see uh, in, in politics. You don't normally see women throwing punches like that. She is one of them woman, women that throws blows. First of all, we have a criminal living in the White House. When the sons of black women will die because of gun violence more than any other cause of death. When black women make 61 cents on the dollar, as compared to all women who tragically make 80 cents on the dollar, the question has to be, where you been? And what are you going to do? So I'm excited to see what she's going to bring to this ticket. I believe in Kamala. Um, I do not think that we should let up reminding her of what she did, because I think uh, given her new position, uh, if she wins, uh, she needs that reminder. Because, like, yo, you are a black woman in power. Do you not understand what it took to get there? You know, so. Does she claim to be black? The thing, too, a lot of people are saying she doesn't claim being black. Nonetheless, she's black. Whether she claims it or not, she's black. <laughs> we're going to take that. that. We're going to take that. We're going to take that. We're going to work with that you know, because we, we, we got somebody there. So we got to support them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, support, you support your baby daddy. He ain't shit. So. That, see, why can't we do like presidential slogans like that? You support your baby daddy, he ain't shit. Vote for Kamala Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Kamala. All right, y'all. That was your half woke news for the week. Um, I hope you guys woke up a little bit more with us today. Leave some comments below. What do you think about Kamala Harris? Does she have your vote? Are we forgiving her? Why do you think the reason is they banned in TikTok? Let us know in the comments below. We will be commenting back. I'm Cynthia Luciette. I'm Darren Big Baby Brand. I'm Precious. It's your boy Brent Taylor. Shout out to Hazel's Barbecue Sauce. Get you some. See you next time. I have a dream.